Hearts is Golden State putting themselves into the conversation for the greatest team. Talking Celtics, Lakers, all of them, the greatest team ever. Well, neither the Celtics nor the Lakers are actually the answer to that. Maybe the Lakers in, in what was it, 70 71 with Wilt Chamberlain when they won 67 or 68, 69 games. It was the record that the Bulls eventually broke in that 95 96 team when they won 72 games. That's the greatest team ever. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, Lakers and Celtics fans. That 72 wins Bulls team is the greatest team ever. And yes, absolutely. The Golden State Warriors would put themselves in the, converse, in the conversation should they beat this apparently unstoppable Cavs team. I mean, we're, we're all like, hand, all the hand-wringing that's being done today is over a one-possession loss that almost didn't go in. That shot almost didn't fall, right? The Cavs could have easily won that game. After they waxed the Celtics so bad in the first two games that everyone's saying they need to fix the playoffs. <laughs> they need to stop super teams. When you are facing, like, if you're coming off a 73-win season and you lost to the Cavs and you split the last two championships and LeBron James has multiple All-Stars on the team and is crushing everyone and no one else has a chance, if that Warriors team goes from the greatest regular season team ever the previous season to one of the greatest postseason teams ever this year, which would be the case if they beat the Cavs, particularly if they somehow blew them out, Stephen A., or if they swept them or in a gentleman's sweep or just won their games by wide margins. How could they not be in the conversation with the greatest team ever, with, this, with that Bulls team or with that Lakers team from the 70s? How could they not be in that conversation by wins totals, by quality of opposition, by what they did to the opposition? Of course they'd be. By the roster, of course, in every conceivable way, they'd be in the conversation. I don't view it that way. Um, I can understand why others do because their talent is surreal and we get that. But And I don't blame them for the position that I'm about to take. But I have a hard time looking at any team as the greatest in this era because of how the NBA has modified the rules, making the game so soft and resistance so limited that it facilitates offenses being greater than they've ever been. You know, when you look at Kevin Durant, when you look at Steph Curry, the Klay Thompson of the world, when, when you make the argument about LeBron James, for example, Max, and you talk about his greatness, we all talk about his greatness. I think LeBron James' skill set transcends any era because of the physical specimen that he is. I look at other guys and I say, as great as a shooter as Steph Curry was and Klay Thompson, or Jeff Curry is, and Klay Thompson is, and Kevin Durant is, if you were allowed to get up in them and be physical and, and didn't get called for a technical foul for having bad breath for crying out loud, how effective would they be? Those are the kind of questions that come into play for me. Then, then I look at it and then I say, okay, some of the all-time greats. We're talking about Magic Johnson. We're talking about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the greatest scorer in NBA history with the only unstoppable move in the history of the sport. We're talking about the worthies of the world and others. We're looking at Boston with Bird and McHale and Paris and Ainge and, and, and the late, great Dennis Johnson, God rest his soul. We're thinking about the Philadelphia 76ers with Moses and Dr. J. You know, obviously, the game has evolved, so the level of skill set that they have today is different than what they had back in the day. But I remember when we used to talk about and I'll throw a name out at you that I'm sure you'll remember, Max. How about that name, Andrew Tony? Did you ever see a sniper? You understand that he couldn't compare to is lethal as this brother was with his mid-range game, the short stock physique and what he was able to do to get a shot off, et cetera, et cetera. I'm looking at all of these things, plus how rough and tumble the game was, plus of what was allowed defensively and how dudes managed to do what they did anyway. And then I ask myself, could today's NBA players do that, withstand that? I don't know the answer to that question because some guys are so soft that ultimately you have to question that. And not only are they soft in terms of physicality and what they're accustomed to, Max, they're actually soft up here, as we've discussed. The level of sensitivity that they have towards just the littlest questions imaginable. You can compliment them 99 and a half times. If you d insult them a half percent of the time, you're, you know, you, 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 it's like taboo for crying well, out loud. You're not you've wrong. got the world coming to their direction. And so when you look at it from that perspective, that's the concern that I have because guys back in the old days would laugh at the stuff that affects these guys here. And if it affects them, you're, here, you're it affects not, you're not wrong. You're not wrong Last in the night. sense that if they don't translate. This Warriors team may not translate to other eras 
uh, uh, clearly they're thing. best adapted for this era. The only thing I would say is, and the Bulls actually could shoot the three. They had, you know, Paxson and these guys, they could shoot the three. Kerr Kerr especially. B.J. Armstrong even. Yeah, and, and, and Jordan and Pippen would shoot the three better if they played nowadays. But that, you Not know. Not Pippen. Well, maybe not. But the point is that <laughs> every team is adapted to their era. That's why they were the greatest when they played there. How would that Bulls team with Dennis Rodman do with social media nowadays and, and the distractions that would cause? I mean, it's impossible to say that. You just got to see how they did against their contemporaries and then judge their contemporaries. Warriors are in the combo.